I came across the Alliance while doing my day-to-day -day business. Having never heard of it, of course I was intrigued. The Alliance with the Washoe County Medical Society? Hmm, that's a very long name. But after some research, I learned this is a group of physicians' spouses promoting the health of our community. Okay, that sounds pretty good, but what exactly do they do and how does it help our community? The Alliance started in 1947 and it was a very small group of physician spouses and um, there's one I believe that is still with us today, but we don't see her very often. But they came up with this fantastic idea, which I think back then was very, very chic, to sell the items that they no longer needed and give those funds to those that were in need. I quickly learned that this is not your ordinary rummage sale. Thousands of items are donated, thousands of items are sold, and thousands of dollars are raised. This is our cornerstone event, and if you saw the lines just waiting in the mornings, wrapped around the building, the treasure hunters and the people that can find things at fabulous bargains, it's just a cornerstone of our community and it's wonderful. This takes a village, we call it our hamlet. This organization works year round, so as soon as the sale is over, we will open up our warehouse to start accepting donations for next year's rummage sale. So you work all year on this? We work all year round. How and many it's, people? You know, all in all, there's about 60 women, plus a lot of wonderful volunteers that come in during this week, and especially more high school children, especially in college people. But on the wall behind me, we have a lot of wonderful corporate sponsors that cover all the costs for the rummage sale the price for the event center, insurance, uh, the cost for the warehouse, and we have been so fortunate to have them. At, that allows us to give 100% of the proceeds back to the community every year. And that goes anywhere, um, an average year is 50 to 60,000. We have had a few wonderful years where we went over $70,000 in one day. And then what do you do with the money, Ingrid? We donated 100% back to our community through our grant process. So we open it up, there's a deadline on our website, awcms.org. You can apply for a grant and it goes through our grant process. They look at it and uh, it's a wonderful committee and they try to give back where it's gonna count the most. Well, after further discussion, I learned that each nonprofit that applies for a grant can receive up to $5,000, and quite a few organizations benefit each year from all of this hard work. We do about 15, sometimes 20 a year, depending on the amounts, and then we always give nursing scholarships to Truckee Meadows Community College Nursing Program and the University of Nevada Nursing Program, and we have done that since our inception. And why do you feel strongly about nursing scholarships? Well, being physicians, spouses, because not all of us are women, we see the need for community health care, and especially when you come to this presentation and you see how many people out there go without prescriptions and go without necessary testing. We feel it's very important to help the nurses go and uh, to get their educations to assist the physicians in our community. Ingrid expresses confusion from the community about where the money goes. Well, every year, the day before the big rummage sale, checks are awarded to the grant recipients from the previous year's sale. As each organization comes up to collect their check, they get to speak briefly about what the organization does and why this money is so important. We showed up with our cameras to show you exactly where that money is going. Our veterans, and we target only low-income veterans who really can't afford to go to a dentist. Uh, even the Hawk Clinic has proved too uh, expensive for them. So we will uh, negotiate prices with our dentists uh, to remove that too. If it is a critical condition, if we don't get that to them, that infection can go to their brain or their heart and it will kill them. So this is really critical that we help our veterans. A local organization that helps children in Northern Nevada with any need they have. We pay for medical, dental, psychological, educational needs when there aren't any other resources to pay for these needs. Uh, we help children from birth through age 20. The program that you guys are supporting today is in our prescription drug program, which is another critical need in our community. And it basically is helping the most vulnerable in our community that can't afford uh, the antibiotics for their kids or need a prescription for one need or another. Care Chest is essentially all about wellness 
and keeping people out of the emergency room, um, keeping people independent and self-sufficient. As we watched over 15 organizations come up and collect checks, it became apparent how important this rummage sale that started so many years ago has become to our community. It means a great deal to the Food Bank of Northern Nevada when community groups like the Alliance um, for the Washoe County Medical Society uh, recognize what we're doing in our community and want to partner with us to make good things happen in our community. We could not do what we do without the support of so many groups and individuals in our community and it is a great honor um, that they recognize our work and want to help us with it. Nobody knew where the money went. We say charity and we try to tell people but we, our most important mission is to let our community know that how many of us work year round and this week especially is just very long days and very you know lifting and dust and we do it because we're committed to giving back to our community it's as you great. are it is thank you <laughs> it's great for people to to see where the money goes because then you know they know that when they show up at your warehouse and they drop that stuff off they know that they are making a difference and and i'm this honestly is my first time here and i'm just amazed at the number of items and the quality of the items and it's clear that everyone's heart is really in this so thank you for what you do in our community right. thank you Jennifer. thank you you might be wondering what they do with the hundreds of unsold items at the end of the rummage sale. They donate them all to charity, of course. The next day, this incredible team of people wake up to an empty warehouse and begin collecting items for next year's event.